overboard. Now, the folks over in England, they don't want him either. He's very unpopular. And this is a testament not just to the fall of Piers Morgan. It's a testament to the fact that dinosaur state-run media like MSNBC, CNN, The New York Times are not pertinent. They cannot set the agenda. And in fact, they're discredited. And they're losing stock every single day with the American people and the people of the world. At the same time, the new alternative media is becoming the dominant media and filling the vacuum left by establishment prostitutes. When Rand Paul won his senatorial race a few years ago that I supported against all odds, Politico contacted me knowing I'm friends with the senator and said, how did he win against all of the media attacks from the left and the right? And I said, it's because the system attacked him that he won. The only way you can beat Rand Paul is to endorse him. That's how discredited you are. And only now is the corporate whore media beginning to figure this out. Piers Morgan is a thug. Uh, he's a bully. He had some of his security staff threaten me when I was leaving CNN after I handed him his ass. Uh, Buzz Bissinger on his show talked about how he wanted to kill me and how Piers Morgan should kill me, and Piers agreed that he'd like to shoot me. Piers, challenge Alex Jones to a boxing match, show up with a semi-automatic that you got <laughs> legally, and pop him. I'd love to see that. <laughs> In uniform. <laughs> If I would have said something like this, I would have never heard the end of it. Piers Morgan is an establishment hatchet man, and he's simply a rat in the coal mine, indicating that the entire political system is going down. Congress has a 6% approval rating. Mainstream media has between a 16 and 20 point approval rating in the trust area, and it's falling like a lead balloon. In closing, I want to say this. If CNN offered me a primetime TV show, I would only take it if I was absolutely not censored and had free speech. But that's not going to happen. They know that I would bring them massive ratings, as I did when I was on Piers Morgan's show. They know my radio show has at least 3 million listeners a day, bigger than any of their shows or four or five of their shows combined. They know that they're a paper tiger, a facade, the emperor's new clothes. And that's the last domino to fall is that they are an empty husk. They are a hoax, they are a lie. And all their big studios and all their big systems are meant to project power and confidence. And the truth is they've discredited themselves. Only the truth could set CNN and MSNBC and others free. It would bring them ratings and success. But MSNBC got rid of Dylan Radigan when he came out and said both parties are controlled and are destroying us for offshore banks. And so they didn't renew his contract, even though he had the highest ratings on that channel. Another example of how they don't want real populism. They don't want a return to a real free market. They want this crony capitalist system where a few insiders control the economy and manipulate the people through the media. The problem is the establishment mouthpieces aren't working anymore. No amount of ending net neutrality or web IDs or taxation or regulation or cybersecurity is going to put the genie of free speech back in the bottle. That train left the station a long time ago. So the truth is, if I got a job at CNN, I would be discredited. Look at how Duck Dynasty has 15 million viewers or the Bible has 15 million viewers and Piers Morgan had like 400,000. People are rejecting anything establishment and going for anything traditional or anything that's seen as Americana. And that's a good thing. And it shows that we're beginning to win the info war thanks to all of you out there. So again, don't give me credit for helping to bring down Piers Morgan. We all did it together by standing up to him and by rejecting his message of tyranny. And in truth, he was arrogant about his support of evil. And that's why he was so easy to bring down. And he is a bellwether of the rest of the system that is collapsing in front of our eyes. <laughs> we, we are in an information war, and we are losing that war. I'm Alex Jones, signing off for InfoWars Nightly News. And remember, if you're watching this transmission and taking action with the information, you are the resistance. Hitler took the guns, Stalin took the guns, Mao took the guns, Fidel okay. Castro took the guns, many... Hugo Chavez took the guns, and I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? 
Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com.